So Archimancia mucinifila has been shown to play uh, an important role on the gut barrier function. And if we think about the gut barrier, it's a real complex system. Just think about the epithelial cells. It's like the blocks of a wall of a castle. You think about a castle, you can have the moat and the water. The water is, in fact, the mucus layer that you have in, in the intestine. And Archimancia is living really there, close to the mucus, dialoguing with the soldiers in the castle, in fact our immune cells, and trying to maintain the gut barrier function really efficient. And in fact, Akamansia is playing different role, so not only maintaining the wall very high and sealed, but also replenishing this mucus layer thickness, so maintaining the invaders at distance, and also contributing to the production of antimicrobial peptides that will selectively kill some bacteria. And why I think that this is really a gatekeeper is because all the studies that we have performed have clearly shown that Acamancia mucinifila, either the live bacteria and the pasteurized bacteria, reinforce the gut barrier, and then the consequence is a lower metabolic endotoxemia, lower leakage of LPS and many other bacterial components that will decrease the low-grade inflammatory tone. And I think that this is one of the major mechanisms by which the gut bio function, when it's altered, will contribute to the onset of insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, hepatic steatosis. And when, it, when we reinforce the gut barrier, we will have an improvement of the phenotype. In other words, less hepatic inflammation, less glycemia, less insulin resistance, and so on. So this is really close to the, the gut, but we can think about the brain. And it's also clearly demonstrated that this gut to brain axis and that the gut barrier function is really important also in other disorders than obesity and type 2 diabetes. Let's think just about anxiety and, and, and stress and also addiction. So the gut barrier function is probably important in many kinds of diseases.